Hi, my loves. It's Lucid Summer, and welcome back to the season finale of season one of the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge for The Sims that I created. And if you'd like to check out the rules, they will be linked in the description box below. I cannot believe that we are finally at the season finale. We are wrapping up generation one officially and getting ready to move on with Daisy Wild in the city. I am so, so excited, but I'm so sad to leave the farm. Before before we jump into the episode, our featured comment today is from Amy Christie. They said, I love this series so much. You're such a great storyteller and I can't wait for the next generation as much as I'll miss the farm. And I could not agree more. I've never felt such mixed emotions about moving on to a new Sims generation, but we are going to enjoy our last episode on the farm with all of the wilds today before we move on to generation two with Daisy. And speaking of the wilds, of course, we had to start this episode off with the lovebirds themselves cuddling up in bed like the cuties they are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss Faye and Silas so, so much. Of course, we are going to be seeing them here and there throughout season two, but it just won't be the same. Oh my gosh, it is the middle of the night right now, but I just had to turn on the light because how cute is it that Barley sleeps in the girls' room right in between their beds? Oh my gosh, that's just the sweetest thing in the world. Wait, also, is she? Wait a minute, is Barley sleeping with her eyes open? Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> of course, Faye and Silas are the first ones awake. Oh my gosh, cuties. I don't think I've ever had Sims stick to a routine as much as Faye and Silas have. I like to think that they just love their lives so much that they just wouldn't change a thing. Oh. Uh, I just got flashbacks to Pumpkin. We really have had the best dogs this generation as well. God, the season finale is making me all emotional, all sentimental. I don't know what is going on. All right, time to look after the animals. Silas in his natural habitat. Daisy, of course, the last one up, drinking her espresso. <laughs> Since they have a pretty free day on Sunday, let's actually enter Daisy in another game tournament. I'm still gonna do a novice tournament. I definitely wouldn't say that she's a professional yet, even though she is really good at video games. <laughs> All right, yeah. you got this, Daisy. We believe in you. We're gonna let her play and then check back in in a little bit. Oh my gosh, stop. Shower me in compliments. Henry is feeling his ego effectively boosted after that lovely compliment from Faye. Nothing brightens a conversation like a bit of well-placed flattery. Would you say that Henry likes compliments? Oh my gosh, Henry gives such baby girl energy and I love it. So yes, of course Henry likes compliments. Okay, Flora. She is definitely finding her style. I love that for her. This one's actually so gorgeous. I think I'm going to save this one instead of selling it. All right, Daisy is just finishing up her game tournament. Oh, she shook her head. I don't know if that's a good sign. Oh no, it turns out the other competitors in this tournament were better today. No prize this time. Oh, I'm so sorry, Daisy. You got this though. You'll win eventually, I promise. Oh my gosh, I hate this loser moodlet. It makes me so sad every time I see it. All right, Let's have Silas cook something fancy for dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna do the pasta primavera and have him use the fresh produce that he got from the garden this morning. And we're also going to invite over Miles, Asher, and Willow and have a bit of a family dinner. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, no. the cuties. Not Willow yeah. being instantly huh. very flirty. You guys need to chill today. We're having a Ooh. calm family dinner. This is not going to be a repeat of New Year's Eve. Huh. And then in the backyard, huh. of of course, Daisy and Asher hanging out and talking. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I have been thinking a lot about Asher's future as well, especially as we're moving on to generation two with Daisy. And for a while, I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to take Asher in. I feel like we could do a lot of things with his storyline. But in case you don't remember, one of Asher's traits is actually Recycle Disciple. And Asher has definitely been a very like green friendly and eco-conscious person 
person his whole life. But where he lives now in Henford on Bagley, there's not exactly too much work to be done. Henford on Bagley has no air pollution, everyone is pretty ego conscious for the most part, and as much as Asher loves this, he really wants to go somewhere where he can make more of a positive change. So I do think that Asher and Daisy are kind of starting to talk about the future. Daisy is like, I really want to move to San Maishuno to pursue my video gaming career. And Asher is like, oh my gosh, I could do so much positive work there and maybe even find a job there that really fits me and that I'm really passionate about. So I don't think that Daisy and Asher have any definitive plans right now, but I definitely think that they're starting to talk about the possibility of moving to the city once they graduate high school. Let's go ahead and call everyone to dinner. I'm also always curious to see where they'll choose to sit because obviously we Ooh. don't have enough seats in the dining room when everyone is over. Oh my gosh, I'll never get over these family dinners. They make me so happy. Oh my gosh, Henry was literally about to sit down at the table and then Willow took his spot and I love that for her. She is such a queen. It looks like everyone is cleaning up and joking around with each other. Oh my gosh. Silas is cleaning up for everybody while everybody is still sitting down and chatting. And that is really sweet to me. I honestly just think that Silas loves having a full house and having everybody enjoy themselves. And honestly, I agree. It makes me so happy to see this. Dag, dag. All right. It looks like everybody is heading out and it's actually really good timing. The kids do have school in the morning. So yeah, we should probably get everyone to sleep. Oh my gosh, wait, it looks like Daisy is now very popular at school. Daisy is now very popular. It's as good as it gets, whether or not she worked hard to get here or she just has the sort of personality that tends to be popular. The pinnacle of social status has been reached. Oh my gosh. I feel like this says a lot about Daisy's online presence with streaming and video games and everything. It's one thing for her to gain a little bit of popularity online, but I feel like it's a whole other thing for the kids at her school in a small town to really recognize that and to also see her as being very popular. So that's really interesting. Oh, Daisy received the Excellence Bunny Award at school. Oh my gosh, what a cutie. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals hanging out. I mean, they were hanging out on a mud pile, but ignore that part and focus on cuteness. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. I have no idea when she painted this. It was probably before school, but this is beautiful. Beautiful. By the way, I totally forgot to mention this, but obviously these are not in-game paintings. I actually did get a painting overhaul mod that I have in my game, so if you guys want to check that out, it will be linked in the description box below. But this is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love the plants and the sage color. It does feel very flora. All right, the kids are home and I'm gonna put Daisy's Excellence Bunny right on her desk. Oh my gosh, wait, that is so much bigger than I remember it. All right, I'm just gonna size it down a little bit. I think that that's better. Oh my gosh, what? You guys, Daisy has unlocked the single and loving it lifestyle. So it looks like Daisy is both a people person and single and loving it. And I really feel like those are kind of perfect for Daisy. I definitely feel like those two encapsulate her personality. Also, I'm really glad that Daisy likes being single because I really don't want to rush into a romantic relationship, especially while she's still a teenager. So I like that she's cool with being single for now. All right, what's Daisy's coffee of choice today? Uh-huh. Looks like she's having a cappuccino. Love Dinner that. Sopra. Also, she's definitely getting better at latte art because that looks so ah. pretty. Oh my gosh, stop. Henry really is a kid at heart. Like, look at him. Oh my gosh, he looks so happy. Stop. Like, Henry is about to be a whole adult soon and this is how he's spending his time. I think it's so sweet. I'm actually gonna have Daisy take a little nap really quick because she she did get up early to work at the cafe this morning. She had a full day at school, which she is now an A student, by the way. And then in just an hour, she has her live stream. So Daisy has a lot going on. So I think she definitely deserves a little midday nap. Oh my gosh, it looks like Daisy is doing a streamathon. Chat has been asking for this for quite some time now. Every streamer has been doing this as a rite of passage. And now it is time for Daisy to show what kind of streamer she is a streamathon. Daisy will stream for at least 24 hours. Any donations from the viewers will add five minutes to the timer.
her. Let's go. How will she finish this challenge? Streaming and playing video games is truly Daisy's happy place. And I think that she has such a comfort specifically with stream and with her viewers. And I think that she would 100% power through. I'm sure she would get tired, but I feel like she would just down an espresso and keep hanging out with her friends on chat. So she would definitely, definitely power through. Oh my gosh. Wow. Our viewers donating for Daisy to end the stream early. The viewers don't approve of cheesing the 24 hour streaming challenge by simply leaving the stream on and sleeping in front of the camera. Oh my gosh. Daisy fell asleep. Daisy thought the goal was just to last 24 hours and not to put on a show for 24 hours. This was a lot harder than she thought it would be. Performance loss medium and energy loss small. Oh my gosh, Daisy. The poor thing fell asleep. She's literally streaming at a cafe right now. Like, girl, make a coffee. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad though. All right, she's still feeling confident at least. And she came home with $86. So I don't think it was the worst day ever. I just can't believe she fell asleep on stream. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh, Grim just showed up. I think you can see him in the background. And I think it's for Dottie. But at least we're giving her some last cleans and pets and loves before it happens. Oh my god, this is so sad. Look at that sweet little face. Are you kidding me? I think this is the one thing that I'm not gonna miss from this first generation of Lucid Legacy is the animals dying all the time. It makes me so, so sad. Grim, get away. No one wants you here. Leave, please. Oh my gosh, it is Dottie. Oh no. Ugh. R.I.P. Grim, get out of here, please. <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing you. At least Clive is doing good. <laughs> All right, the kids are home from school and I feel like Daisy is going to get burned out soon and I really don't want her to get to that point. So I am actually gonna have her cancel her stream for later today. I just feel like she needs the rest. So I'm gonna have Daisy come and sleep and just let her take the day to kind of like recharge a little bit. Oh my gosh, and Flora is having a mood swing. She is feeling misunderstood at the moment. Flora, I definitely feel like you need to take that energy out on some painting, so why don't you go do that? Oh my god, not the moody teen walk. <laughs> like, girl, you cannot be serious. <laughs> Flora kills me, oh my gosh. All right, and you know what? Since it is a rare night that Daisy isn't actually working or anything, I'm actually gonna have her have a little conversation with Faye and Silas. I think that it is officially time for Daisy to tell her family that she wants to move to San Myshuno. I do think that Faye and Silas have a bit of an idea that she is going to be moving when she graduates from high school. As different as they are to each other, I think that they just know their children really, really well. And at the end of the day, Faye and Silas just really want their kids to be happy. So I think that they would be fine with Daisy doing whatever it is she wants to do. But that being said, she actually hasn't officially told them her decision to move to the city. I think today being the day that she took off of work, it is perfect timing to just let her parents know that this is her decision. Like I said, all that Faye and Silas care about is that she is happy in a whatever she does. So they're going to be 100% supportive of this. But I am glad that she's taking the time to like sit them down, tell them formally, rather than just graduating from high school and being like, oh, by the way, I decided to move and just like move out of the house. Oh, and I think they're really happy. They are so excited for her. And I feel like this is going to be such a great next chapter in Daisy's life. Oh, Faye even got this closely connected moodlet that says Faye really cherishes her close family connections. Spending time with such a close family member is always heartwarming. Faye and Silas both definitely acknowledge the fact that their kids are getting older and gonna be moving on with their lives very soon. And I think that they're really just kind of cherishing these last days when they have all the kids at home before they move out and move on and all that good stuff. Even though Flora is a little bit younger, so she's not moving out quite yet. And Henry is actually staying at the farm since 
since he's taking it over. And it's still just emotional that their kids are growing up in general, you know? Oh my God, Flora is still feeling misunderstood. Like girl, Flora is such a drama queen, but I kind of love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we have a lot to do on Friday of this week. So Friday is love day. And of course we have to celebrate that, but it's also the twins last day of school as well as their birthday. So there's going to be a lot going on this day, but I'm just going to decide to add even a little bit more onto their plates. Faye and Silas are actually going to be throwing Henry and Daisy a birthday party slash going away party for Daisy. So of course we are going to be aging up the twins and then also saying goodbye to Daisy and all of their friends and family and everything like that. And I'm already a little bit emotional just thinking about it. So excuse me. <laughs> all right. And that is going to be at 3 p.m. So as soon as the kids get out of school, we're going to go ahead and start that party and start celebrating everybody. And I'm so, so excited. Oh my gosh. When I told Flora to take out her feelings on painting, this is what she painted. A cow plant eating someone. Flora is crazy. Oh my gosh. I think Flora is in her peak moody teenage phase right now. Oh my gosh. The kids are home from school and literally everyone is feeling a bit tense. Look at that side eye that Daisy is giving. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. I do think that we're actually going to take Daisy and go to the local cafe and kind of meet up with Asher, have a little bit of a bestie hang. I feel like it's been a while since Daisy and Asher have hung out, like really just the two of them. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and meet up with Asher. Aw, hey bestie. All right, let's go on Skiba, in and grab a move. coffee. All right, coffee acquired. <laughs> Catching up. Oh my gosh. I love them so much. I think that Daisy is wasting no time in telling Asher that she has officially told her parents that she is moving to the city. And she is so, so excited that this is officially happening. Obviously, like I said, everyone's kind of known this for a little while now, but it is now official that she told her parents. And speaking of Daisy moving to the city, Asher actually has some huge news himself that he actually has a job opportunity in San Myshuno. So he is literally planning on moving to the city after graduation as well. This is something that of course they've talked about happening, but I think in the past it was more like, wouldn't it be so cool if we could move to the city together when we're older? That would be amazing. But I don't think they actually thought that it would happen. And now that they're getting older and have some serious job opportunities, they're actually realizing like, no, this is actually happening. We are going to be moving to the city and moving together as well. Asher's like, wait, are we actually moving together? Is this really happening? I feel like this is just one of those perfect movie moments when everything is just working out for them, falling into place, and they're literally going to be besties in the city, just living their dreams. I am so freaking excited for these to to be roomies in the city together. I just think that they're gonna have so much fun and I can't wait to see where their story takes them. So don't worry y'all because I know that a lot of you really really love Asher and he will officially be joining us in the city for generation two and season two so he is not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh my gosh as much as I love Asher though I am so excited to give him a makeover because he clearly needs it. I'm also just really excited to follow follow Asher's storyline a little bit more as well. Obviously, he's always been a part of the Wild family and this generation, but it was always more about his role in the Wild family's lives rather than him as an individual. Asher also has the genius trait, so I feel like it makes perfect sense that he got this job opportunity in the city, even being like as young as he is. I don't know. I'm just so proud of him and I'm Daisy. You guys, this is such a jump scare, but Bar Carly literally sleeps with her eyes open. I don't know if all dogs do this in The Sims, but I've literally never noticed it before and it's just making me laugh so much. Oh my gosh, wait, Daisy was promoted at the cafe. Promoted to latte artist. Oh my gosh, that is so impressive. Oh my God, she also got a 289 simoleon bonus. That is perfect timing for her to move out because we really need to save up as much as we can before the end of the week. That also meant that 
that Daisy completed her resolution for New Year's as well, which was to get promoted in one of her jobs. Daisy is such a hard worker. I'm like really proud of her. And oh my gosh, wait, we now have 1,334 simoleons in the piggy bank. That is not too shabby. I'm pretty happy about that being our household funds for when we move out. That's honestly kind of more than I thought that she would save up. So I am very impressed. Oh my gosh. Faye and Barley are eating breakfast together. That is so sweet. All right, you guys. So it is Thursday and Love Day isn't until tomorrow, but we do have a lot to do tomorrow with oh. the twins specifically. But of course we have to celebrate our favorite couple, Faye and Silas for Love Day. So I was actually thinking that we could do a little bit of like an early celebration oh. today with them. So that way tomorrow we can just fully focus on the twins and everything going on with them instead. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and have Faye and Silas go out for a little early love day lunch together, a little lunch date. I think it's gonna be really, really sweet. And we're actually gonna go to the same restaurant that they celebrated their first ever wedding anniversary. If you guys remember, that was in an earlier episode and it was actually the episode that Faye got pregnant with the twins as well. So it's gonna be a little bit of a blast from the past, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, let's go ahead and go on that date now. Oh my gosh. Speaking of blast from the past, it looks like Harmony still works here. Oh my gosh. I feel like we haven't seen Harmony in so long. Looking as young as ever with her young adult CC. <laughs> All right, I'm also going to change them into their cold weather outfits really quick because I actually want them to sit at the same table where they celebrated their anniversary at the beginning of this season, which actually, now that I'm looking at it, I forget which one of these tables they sat at, but I'm pretty sure it was one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and have them request this table back in the corner. I hope this was the right one, but I honestly forget. Whoa, whoa. All right, oh my God. Ooh. Please don't fall. <laughs> you guys, I am actually getting flashbacks to the young Faye and Silas, just watching them sit here, just to see how they've changed over the generation and the season. And they're still as couple goals as ever. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna put up a picture of them from earlier in the season really quick, just to like remind us all of how far Faye and Silas came. Like I said before, the first time that they came here for a date at this restaurant, they didn't even have kids yet. They were also just starting out with the farm, still kind of figuring it out if they could make that work as a income for them. The farm was so, so tiny. We had barely any crops or animals or anything. And I don't even think we had done any renovations to the house yet. So we had like the old bathrooms, the old kitchen, the old wallpaper and everything like that. We also didn't even have the third bedroom that we added upstairs as well, because I completely forgot that that was a renovation. So safe to yeah. say, Faye and Silas oh. had have really, really come a long way. And I just cannot say enough how much I love these Sims. Like I have just loved playing with them. And I'm really glad we're here to say goodbye to this generation. Even though we've only been here once, it just feels very fitting. All right, let's go ahead and order for the table. I think for a drink, I'm just gonna get them both water. And then to eat, I think I'm actually gonna get them both the same thing, which is beef wellington. This was one of the meals that came with the country living expansion pack and it just feels very Henford on Bagley to order beef wellington so yeah I'm gonna get that for both of them. Jabina? Yips. Wanoosh. Oh my Parse. gosh. Love the CC uh, hair. Sure. Oh my gosh our food's here already? Y'all I'm not trying to jinx it but I feel like the restaurant's working out pretty well this episode. I think it's a season finale miracle. <laughs> oh and they both like their food. Oh my gosh stop. Let's reminisce about wedding day and also swap baby milestones. I did not realize that was an interaction. That is so cute. It also makes sense that them being here is bringing up a lot of old memories and stuff like their wedding and having babies and everything. Oh my gosh, what? Hey Silas, I've been thinking about getting a new job. What do you think? Oh my gosh, absolutely, Miles. Miles always surprises us with these phone calls. I feel like every time Miles calls us, I think back to the time that he called to tell us that he adopted a baby out of nowhere, which obviously Obviously was a good surprise and now we have Asher but like it was just so random but of course Miles you should definitely follow should your wrong. heart. All right one last thing before we go home I kind of want them to do some ice skating together. Again this is their early Valentine's Day 
celebration. So I just want them to have as much fun and romantic time as possible. That was a pretty easy restaurant trip. We don't usually get that lucky. But like I said, since it's still light out, let's go ahead and do some ice skating. All right, let's see them. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Silas. <laughs> it always makes me so nervous when Sims ice skate and they like almost fall. <laughs> I know that they can't get like seriously hurt doing this, at least I think that they can, but it still makes me nervous. Oh my gosh, wait, we got a gold medal from that date. Oh, legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. Oh my God, that is amazing. I love that they had a legendary date. That makes me so happy. These, oh my God, Silas. Oh my God, Faye is focusing so hard. She's like, I refuse to fall. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I was like, did I jinx it? The sun's going down. It's getting a little late. I think it is time to head back home. Oh, right when the lights come on, though. Are you kidding? All right. Yeah, I'm I'm going to take them home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop it. Silas has the moodlet that says common ground to build a relationship. What Sims have in common can give them a foundation for a wonderful romance. Oh, my heart. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, that is so true, though, about Faye and Silas. They are the same person and they have such like a beautiful wonderful, healthy relationship, and I love it so much for them. Oh, uh, you guys, I'm not ready to say goodbye. How am I supposed to do this? I will say, though, I'm glad that the snow is starting to melt before we leave. As much as I liked the snowy farm vibe, it's definitely not what we were used to throughout this generation, so I'm glad that we can actually, like, see everything again, basically. Oh my gosh, Faye and Silas both have the comfortably compatible lifestyles. That is so sweet. Faye found that Sharon a lifestyle with Silas only deepened the attraction that Faye feels. I'm literally gonna cry. These Sims need to stop doing this to me. <laughs> They're making me too emotional. Uh, you guys, should we just keep going with the wilds forever and never let them die and never move off of the farm? <laughs> You guys, I can't believe I was just about to let Daisy leave the house like it was some normal day. This is Daisy's last day of being a barista. Can you guys believe it? It is officially Daisy and Henry's birthday. So after today, no more barista job, no more high school. They are aging up out of teenhood. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we're already at this stage of their lives. Like, it's so crazy to me. Faye and Silas are up oh, feeling boy. very These flirty this morning. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> oh, I can't with them. Since we did celebrate Love Day with them yesterday, I am just going to cheat the Love Day traditions to be complete, just so I make sure that they still have a good Love Day. Oh, yes. Oh, and one last family breakfast, even though Flora didn't have time to eat, poor thing. As if I haven't been already, I'm going to be very sentimental Boy, for the rest of the episode, so please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's also the last day looking after the farm. And to think, we started this farm with like, what, like six plants or something like that? And it was just in this little area. That is so crazy to think about now. Like, look at all of this space that they have now and everything that they've built up to and worked so hard for. It is so crazy to think about. Silas, you're literally in your robe. Like, at least put some shoes on. <laughs> all I'm thinking about right now is Maggie. <laughs> I miss her so much. Oh, she was the best cow ever. I say as if she was different from any other cow in The Sims, but you know what? She was. Wow. Maybe Henry and Willow will end up adopting a brown cow and then we can have a little Maggie 2.0 in the future. <laughs> All right. Let's clean the yard, make sure that all the animals and the plants and everything is looking as best as they can. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up for the party. And again, this is a birthday party, graduation party, and going away party for Daisy. So it's kind of just celebrating the twins in general with all of the changes that are happening in their lives right now. Oh my gosh, Flora. I love just randomly popping over to this corner of the farm and just seeing what the the latest thing Flora painted was. This is so interesting. I feel like Flora definitely has more of an abstract style when it comes to her paintings and I love that for her. All right, you guys, I just finished decorating for the party and of course we're having it in the backyard like we usually do. So when you first come in, we have the little welcome sign welcoming you to Daisy and Henry's 
party with, of course, some little balloons. And then over here in the back, we have some more balloons just kind of scattered everywhere. This is where we're obviously going to have all the food. And then I'm also going to put the cake that Silas makes in here with the candles just so nobody touches it. And then we have a little decor present pile over here, the two picnic tables, and then I put their radio on top in case anyone wanted to dance. Over here, we just have the little party cannon just in case that wants to be used at any point. And then over here, we have the photo booth area. So we're going to have everyone take a bunch of pictures. One, because of course it's a party, but also since Daisy's leaving, I just want to take a bunch of memorable pictures to end out the first generation. So yeah, that's the whole party area. I think the kids are really going to like it when they get home. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have Silas make the winter cake for the twins because technically it is still winter, even though it's hot outside and the snow is all melted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Barley is like, what did you do out here? <laughs> Why is everything different? And of course, Clive is coming to check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a cutie. He's like, is this party for me? Be honest. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss Clive and Barley so much. And the chickens, of course, too. All right, the kids are gonna be home really soon. So let's go ahead and turn on some music. I guess this works. I feel like Henry and Daisy have like opposite tastes in music. So I don't think that we'll find a station that works perfectly for the both of them. But I don't know. I'm cool with this for now. All right. Here's the twins. Beautiful birthday cake. All right. I put candles on it right away and put it out here in this little tray. Ooh. And the birthday party is about to begin. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Putting on their party outfits. Oh checking everything. <laughs> Thing out. Uh, oh my gosh, Yizzy. they all look uh. so good. And of course, Miles is here and Asher and Willow. This is going to be such a nice way to end out this generation. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have Silas serve an assortment of food. And then I think I'm going to start with pictures right away, just so I don't forget. Also, the lighting is good right now, so I don't want to waste that. <gasps> oh, Stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Asher just got the growing closer from quality sentiment with Daisy. That is so sweet. Uh, I love them together so much. <laughs> you guys, I think this might be the best family picture we've ever taken of the wilds. Like, look at how perfect this is. All right, let's have Silas call everyone to the meal. They have really good food out. These fruit tarts look incredible. Oh, I think everyone's having a really good time. Oh, also, since it's love day, let's go ahead and have Henry give Willow a flower. Prezu uh, a dish. Oh, uh, I love them so much. They're too cute. Speaking of cute, look at the way that Faye looks at Silas. Like, why does that get me every time? Oh my gosh, look at everyone sitting together. Even by Barley is joining the party. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that this is the best sunset I could have asked for to end off our time in Hanford on Bagley. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Even like from the farm, like seeing it over the distance, that is so beautiful. All right, you guys, I think it's time that we blow out the candles and age up the twins officially. All right, we're going to age up Daisy first since she's the oldest. Yeah. Happy birthday, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Oh, oh my gosh. Young adulthood. Lifelong responsibilities. Careers and vast horizons await. Whoever said their 20s aren't a blast. So as per the Lucid Legacy Challenge rules, she is going to have the computer whiz aspiration. And as for Daisy's fifth trait, I think I'm going to give her the ambitious trait. She she has been extremely ambitious throughout her teen years, and that was just with part-time jobs in school. I can only imagine she'll be even more ambitious once she really gets into the career that she's super passionate about, so I think the ambition is a really perfect trait for Daisy. Oh my gosh, and Daisy graduated with honors? <gasps> wow, she really did that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Daisy, you did it. You got through your teen years. So proud of you, girly. All right, let's put candles back on the cake super quick and then we're going to celebrate Henry's birthday. Oh and Willow's coming right over to celebrate him. All right happy birthday Henry. Oh my gosh I love seeing everybody celebrate the twins. All right of course Henry's aspiration is the country caretaker aspiration same as his dad. And then as for his fifth and final trait I think 
that I'm going to give him the romantic trait, which is only fitting for Henry. I mean, he has blown us away with his <laughs> romantic side over his teen years, so I can only see that grow from here on out. <gasps> and he also graduated with honors. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with these children. <laughs> Happy birthday, oh, Henry. Oh. Also, just so y'all know, I'm going to be aging up Willow and Asher into young adults as well, just so they can follow the storyline. But I'm just going to use MC Command Center to do this instead of having them blow out candles as well. All right, you guys, I think that that was a very successful birthday, graduation party, farewell party, and love day party, I guess, all in one. Except I feel like there's still one more thing that we could do to celebrate love day, and that is have Henry proposed to Willow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know that it was quick and I know that they're young, but they are so end game. Oh my gosh. And of course, Henry is loyal. <laughs> Henry and Willow are officially fiancés. So as if we didn't already have reason enough to come back to Henford on Bagley to visit our family, we will be coming back in season two for the wedding of Henry and Willow. I am so freaking excited for them. Let's actually have Daisy congratulate Willow. I am so happy for the both of them. I feel like they're just gonna have the cutest life ever. Congratulations. We're so excited for your engagement and can't wait for the wedding. Oh my gosh. So yeah, like I said, we may be moving to the city, but we won't be gone for too long because we need to see this little cutie get married and I am so excited for that. Oh, and it looks like Willow and Daisy got a sentiment together. Growing closer from good memory sentiment. That is so sweet. I feel like they're so excited to officially be sisters. Oh my gosh, my heart. All right, I really don't wanna end this party, but it is getting a bit late and Daisy and Asher do have to get ready to pack on up and move tomorrow. So I think that that is going to be the end of our last party here at the farm. Actually, no, not our last party because I think we're actually going to have the wedding here as well. Uh, I just want to savor this moment for as long as possible. Barley is getting tired. She's like done with the party. Flora and Silas hanging out over here. And of course, Miles and Asher over here in the garden where they spend most of our parties, which I think is the cutest thing in the world. I definitely think that Asher is spending as much time with his dad as possible before he moves tomorrow. As much as Asher is excited for this move with Daisy, I think that he's really, really gonna miss Miles. All right, y'all. I think that's the end of the party. I know I'm delighted. Playing it. I just really don't want this to end, but I think that, like I said, this is a really, really great note to end on. All right, you guys, it is officially the morning of the move. Let's go ahead and pack up everything that we can. Gosh, I am not ready for this. Of course, we got to take the excellence bunny, <laughs> Daisy's award, her laptop, of course, her prized possession, <laughs> and her piggy bank, which has 1,334 simoleons in it. I forgot to mention this earlier, but as a farewell slash going away gift, Faye and Silas are actually going to be paying for the deposit on Daisy and Asher's new apartment. Of course, Daisy is going to be paying her rent and she has her piggy bank for her starting household funds, but they figured it was only fair since they're passing down the farm and the house to Henry and Willow. It only makes sense that they at least, you know, start off Daisy with her first apartment and kind of help her out a little bit. So she is super, super appreciative of that. All right, I'm looking around and I don't think that there is anything left for Daisy to take with her. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that that's it. All right, let's go ahead and say goodbye to Barley first. Aww. Our sweet angel baby. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss her. All right, the final goodbyes. Daisy is all packed up and about to move out. Just making her rounds and saying goodbye to everybody. The next time we see Daisy is going to be in San Shuno with Asher. And I am so, so excited for this next chapter in her life. All right, you guys. And that is the end of 
season one, generation one of the Lucid Legacy Challenge with the Wilds. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this whole season. I'm so excited for the future of this challenge and to see how the story progresses and everything, especially with Daisy coming on up. Of course, we will be back to the farm very soon. <laughs> we are going to be back here in the beginning parts of season two for Willow and Henry's wedding, so you won't have to miss the wilds and the farm for too long. But I just love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of the love that I've gotten on this LP so far and all of the love that you guys have given to these sims. It's just really, really sweet and I cannot wait for more. Like I said, this is only generation one, so we definitely have a long way to go. That being said, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed and I will see you guys for season two.